All right, who do you think you got to have in your lineup if you're going to build around a center, Kenny? So for me, it's I'm sticking in the same game. I know that there are probably going to be a lot of points scored in that Hawks Sixers game because the Hawks pushed the pace to a ridiculous tempo. But I, I look, if you're looking at centers here, Rudy Gobert is still under eight thousand dollars, and he's coming off a, a few pretty good games against the Memphis Grizzlies, and he was able to exploit, you know, the Grizzlies. Valanciunas is a good center, but the Grizzlies all season long haven't been like the best rebounding team. Uh, I was really impressed with how he turned it on for the postseason. And when you look at a Clippers team that doesn't have Serge Ibaka right now, they're kind of undersized. They're not playing Zubats. So they're, they're just playing really small ball lineups. They like to put Marcus Morris down there uh, at, at the five at times. I think that Rudy Gobert should be able to bully some of these front court players for the Clippers. And because of that, I think that he should post a lot of points. Or I think he should get a lot of rebounds. And it, it look, the Jazz, they've shown you that they don't really care if you're going to play small ball. They're going to still have Rudy Gobert out there for 35-plus minutes a game. I think that the matchup is pretty good here for Gobert. And he should just gobble up a lot of rebounds. And that should be enough to, to really hit value and then some. Who's your favorite at the five, Nick? I do like the Gobert call, but I'm going to go cheaper again here. Look at John Collins. And, and a lot of this is just like how striking this price is, $5,600. Uh, that's like almost $2,000 cheaper than he was a month ago. Uh, and obviously there's a reason for that. You know, John Collins has, has kind of taken a backseat uh, as the Hawks have leaned more heavily on, on Trey Young and Bogdanovich. But man, that's only $200 more than Reggie Jackson, which just does not seem right. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think John Collins maybe has the floor that we thought he did coming into the season. That was pretty clear right away. But at this price, he has a really good chance, you know, to hit 5X or even 6X value. You're not really asking for that many DraftKings points. He doesn't have to have a, you know, 60-point night to hit that kind of value when you're, when you're priced like a mid-tier player. So I do like John Collins. I think if you can build around Collins and Bogdanovich, then that allows you, you know, to have a ton of flexibility. You can get Embiid in your lineup alongside with those guys. You can get Trey Young. You can get Kawhi Leonard, Tobias Harris. Um, so, you know, I, I wouldn't exactly say I'm building my lineup around John Collins, but I think at that price, he's a great building block. 